Hey guys, this year we're going to do a lot of different stuff with the yearbook. I'm actually going to have you writing some, some things about what's going on in our society today with the election, with the coronavirus. But the first thing you need to know is how to spot fake news with things like Google or even Wikipedia. Um, it's not hard to find information, but what we need to understand is, is that information credible? That means, does it, ha can it be trusted? Are these, is it, a, you know, a site that just posts stuff just to make money? Because there are a lot of sites that do that. Is it biased? Is it even relevant? Um, web sources can be particularly hard to evaluate. So the main or the best way to find out if it's a good source is give it the crap test. Is it current? Is it reliable? Does it have any authority? What is the purpose or the point of view? If it's not smelling right or sitting right with you, it's probably crap. So is it current? The first thing you need to think about is how recently was this information published? Published, I'm sorry, or posted. If I ask you to write something about the um, election, you should make sure that your information has been pub published within the last week or two, not in the last six months or year. Does it have any reliability? Is this information supported by evidence? A lot of um, any replicable or credible news source ought to have a, at the bottom, should have its sources cited on where they're getting their information. Who wrote the information? Is it a bunch of teenagers? No offense, but you're writing for the yearbook. If you're getting it off, getting it off the internet and it's written by a bunch of teenagers, it may not be reliable at all. Does it have any authority? Again, that goes back to who wrote the information. Are they an expert? Usually they should, might need to have a doctor or professor or something like that in front of their name. What is their purpose? Or point of view, why is it written? Is it Are they trying to sell something or to sway your opinion, to vote one way or the other, or to scare you? A lot of news sources are there only to do such things. And this is simply some vocab that you need to know. You really need to understand what it means to be credible. That means, is it believable upon evidence or convincing? to discern, to recognize or identify. You're going to have to be able to recognize these things throughout this course. Impressionable, easily influenced or persuaded. And I think that is something that a lot of people, not just youth, young adults and old adults, more mature adults, sometimes we're impressionable. We're easily influenced. We don't question why. And that's the main thing that I want you to do throughout this course is question why. Why would they write this? Are they trying to sway my opinion? Are they trying to scare me into voting one way or another or doing something? Team, to be filled. Oh, I'm sorry to be filled uh, to overflowing, to be full of something, and I skipped prof prolific, producing a large amount of something. 